Hello there, my name is Ismail and welcome to another Blender Daily Tip and today I'll be showing you how to make a low poly earth or planet uh, in Blender 2.8. So most most especially how to kind of wrap these continents around uh, the globe uh, because it will be very hard to trace them directly onto uh, the globe or into a sphere. So what I mean is that uh, most of the time if say you, you get uh, the continents or the map uh, from an SVG file, uh, let me see where is my SVG. So usually what you will get is an SVG like this, flat on the surface like this, and uh, you would have to find a way to wrap it around. Actually this looks quite nice. Uh, you would have to wrap it around, uh, the find a way to wrap it around uh, the globe. Uh, this is what I'm going to be showing you uh, now. So let me first turn this off. And I can see just to just a way to wrap uh, this flat surface. I'm not sure why it's very laggy. Let's go into object mode. This flat surface into uh, wrap it around uh, the globe like that, like that. So let's go in and uh, start a new project. I'll start with a plane. We're going to use. A simple def the simple deform modifier uh, for this. So scale the, the plane uh, along the x-axis and rotate it uh, to face you directly and uh, to be flat, vertical like this and uh, apply the rotation and scale so that the axis of the object matches the axis of the modifiers. So if we add a simple deform modifier you can see we have these axes and uh, if you don't apply the rotation uh, because these are based on the global uh, how is it called? Global uh, transform orientation, and uh, the object always have the object orientation. So if these two don't match, you're going to have a lot of difficult uh, getting this to work easily. So apply the rotation and scale so that these match. And uh, now, if we and see uh, the simple deform by default is set to twist. I uh, want it to be set to bend, and I want this to bend around the z axis, which is the vertical axis. So if we change this to about 180, I can see nothing much is happening because we don't have a lot, we don't have enough resolution in our mesh. So let's add, let's go to edit mode and add a few loops, vertical loops like this. And I'm using the shortcut Ctrl R to add the loops. You can see how this is bending. You want this to bend at least, no, you want it to bend like one by 180. Actually, no, we want to first bend it in the x-axis. So in this axis, so we need to add uh, the horizontal polygons or loops as well, as well so, so that we have that resolution. So we want it to bend like this by 180 degrees, and it's more than this. Let me also make a duplicate here. And uh, for this, we're going to use the same modifier, add a simple deform. A simple deform, uh, again, bend. And uh, the, x, the axis this time is supposed to be z, uh, so that it bends in this angle. Uh, but uh, this time the angle should be 100 and, uh, 360 degrees, so that it wraps around completely uh, like this. So we're going to mark these uh, modifiers. So just come on back on this and uh, copy this, the, these modifier settings. So add a simple default modifier, and uh, let's use the same settings here. So bend. Uh, Z-axis by 360 degrees, so uh, this is going to be a bend uh, Z-axis and 360 degrees. Uh, again, you can see how this is working. It's just bending this along the Z-axis until we have it wrapping like that. So uh, now you can see this is what we have. So we still have this gap here, and uh, sometimes depending on how you scaled half how far or how wide you scaled uh, the plane. Uh, this might come out intersecting or as, uh, as a hole like that. So to fix that, just go into edit mode and uh, push it in just a bit. You can see if it's too, if it's not wide enough, it will start intersecting like that. But uh, you want to get it where they are almost margin, but not intersecting or anything. So somewhere like that. And you can see how that has turned into a sphere. I will still have this scene, but uh, <coughs> you don't really have anything to do uh, about that because uh, anyway, uh, when it comes to time, time for rendering, I didn't even use this as 
uh, I just used this to deform uh, the planets, uh, sorry, the continents. I never used it uh, to render anything. I just had a sphere on top of it, so you don't have to worry about that at all. So now let's get to wrapping in, wrapping the continents around uh, the shape. So first disable all the all the modifiers. Don't don't remove them. Just disable them uh, for a second and uh, trace out the map or import the SVG. Whatever you do, uh, let's. I'm just going to use. Uh, where is my SVG? I think. Let's see. Now let me just use uh, this here. I'll just copy it and uh, paste it here. So it's coming with a lot of other things. And let me remove all the modifiers. So this would be your planet, and you can see there's no easier way to trace uh, this kind of structure onto a surface like this. You can't start drawing curves here. It's very hard. So this is the option I found to be work mostly so first disable these modifiers and then move uh, your curve and uh, you can look at uh, my mesh here it's mostly squares so that makes it easier for me to wrap it around uh, the object so uh, make sure that this is above uh, the surface like this and then give it uh, the surface deform modifier. Select uh, the deforming object as our target object and then bind. So I've talked about, I've talked about the surface deformer uh, in a few tutorials back. Uh, I hope you have watched that. But uh, it's very simple. Uh, the way it works is that uh, if you have another mesh that you're deforming, it can transfer those uh, deformations onto the object you have binded to. So this will just copy the transformation of this so now if we turn on this let me change the display here to to wireframe so that you can easily see what's going on here so let me change this to wireframe now if i turn back turn on the wrap you can see how this is wrapping this and then bam you have actually this even looks better looks great and uh, to give this some thickness i just added uh, solidify modifier and you can see this is what we get uh, anyway to make this even more interesting you can add instead of having a wireframe display you can just add the wire wireframe modifier ah I see. look at that so it has messed up uh, the binding here can see total polygon count changed uh, because of that modifier so uh, what we can do is just make a copy of this scale it down just a bit and uh, we can hide uh, the deformer and apply these shapes then apply other uh, from this uh, reduce uh, the thickness something like that let's see how does this look and you have your globe and you can make this even metallic um, metallic Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next tutorial.